morning. Welcome to week seven here at MPAI 600 here at Georgetown University. Uh, announcements, uh, just their next in-person is March 6th. That's for groups four, five, and six. So that'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, March 6th. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what I'm going to also do is a job talk afterward. I want to talk about careers in the federal government, careers in the intelligence community, careers in the private sector, uh, onto that as part. So if you're not in those groups, I would still recommend attending, at least coming on at 1030, so we can talk in, in detail about that. So uh, previous week's review, so I, I just to jump back to five, I, I can't emphasize this enough. I talked about lone wolves, um, the gap between indicators and arrestable activity. Uh, that is a, a good part of your final, um, and it's how do we solve that? So someone's on the radar of law enforcement, as you saw in the EU documentary, as you saw in some of those case studies, but there's not enough to arrest. How do we solve that problem? Or do we solve that problem? Uh, so just think about that going, going forward. So as we go into the criminal intelligence, you saw Dr. Lemieux's article, uh, was CompStat the decisive factor? Uh, a lot of people say that. A lot of people who've made money in consulting have said that. Uh, and CompStat wasn't a computer program, it was just an array of accountability for individual police. Um, it, again, it focused factors, but there was altered reports. Every time you incentivize, whether it's in criminal activity or in teachers and standard tests, you're going to find some nefarious activity or people are going to juice the numbers one way or another to achieve a, a monetary compensation. Uh, and then you have to also look at the other factors for the decline in crime. So if you're going to say CompStat was the primary factor on the final, uh, please account for demographics, economics, abortion, if you want to go that way, uh, or the other other factors that led to this, this systematic decline in crime that we've seen. And then as we're thinking, we're, we're seeing this increase in crime, ask why, right? So if you're looking at this from a social scientist, there was some variable that led to a decrease in crime. And that variable is now absent in the last few weeks or few years, I should say, because of we see that uh, increase. So forensics, uh, CCTV, uh, just ask based on what you saw in the, the documentary, uh, applicable as a post-incident tool. Uh, let me take it a level further. Uh, do we want to have mass CCTV, not just for these ma these these <clears throat> these high profile cases like Capitol Hill or in uh, Boston, but do we want to be like China where there's a CCTV everywhere and you're always being photographed and then you're always being screened against a database? Uh, there are positive aspects of that. If you engage in criminal activity or you are a wanted suspect, we, you cannot hide. However, it could also be used if you're a suspected person based on whatever his definition of a suspected person is of criminal activity, then we could start to see these algorithms be used in, in, in more nefarious ways. So just think about that as we go on. So first question is, can this be used on a wider scale beyond these high profile? And should we be doing it? And what are the, the second and third order impacts? So we're going to shift to business intelligence. And you see my interview with Dr. Galad, uh, we're going to ask, ask questions, businesses that operate in the same space. Why did Best Buy beat Circuit City, for those of you who remember? Why in the D.C. area and most urban areas, the CVS, the drugstore, beat out Rite Aid or Walgreens, which had to consolidate? Why CVS dominant? Uh, uh, why did so many other retailers like Woolworth and Sears go by the way of the wayside, but Target and Walmart survived. I mean, they both had to face Amazon and e-commerce, but Target and Walmart are thriving. A Sears, I don't think you can find many Sears, and I don't think you can find many Woolworths around. Why? What were the factors? What were the variables? So that's something to consider. And then applications to national security issues uh, from, the, from the business community. So I thank you for your, your discussion. I look forward to this week and I'll see you guys in person in a couple of weeks uh, for the job talk and for the final, your final presentations for groups four, five, and six.